What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Def Finesse. Back at y'all with another TDF perspective. It's to die for. All right, look. So when I was growing up as a Ghanaian in this country, one, one of the lessons I learned in school very, very early on, I'll say by the time I was in middle school, one thing I noticed out here as a Ghanaian forced to accept the moniker of black in this country, was that none of these other demographics, not just the so-called whites, but even the Mexicans, the so-called Middle Eastern kids, and the so-called Asians, they all have one thing in common. None of them really took black people too seriously, specifically so-called black men. I noticed that. And me being the TDF nigga that I was, even then, I understood I couldn't waste no time. I couldn't give no energy to this. So when I was having to sit there and listen to all these little racist questions and racist comments and little slurs, I made sure to never, ever, ever, ever give no real kind of energy to these situations, right? So now we're going to watch this video that I just saw. And it says it's called Ben Franklin H. Ben Franklin High School Student Confronts Teacher for Using Racial Slur. Okay, we're going to watch this video. It's a quick little two minute video. I'm, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to just chime in. That's racist as shit. Oh, 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 oh. Let me just pause it right there. Already, I'm noticing right off the bat, this young brother right here, he's the only, at least from where the camera, uh, from what the camera is showing, he's the only so-called black person in his class. And he happens to be a man. Now, if there's one thing you understand about this society is that men aren't respected and, and, if you, and, and, and blacks aren't respected. So our so-called blacks aren't respected. Now, just aside from that, you look at the faces of the kids in there. Was like three girls. All of them are doing what? Do they look like? They, do they seem to be taking this issue as seriously as he as he is? Hell no. They all laughing. This is this is a comedy special for them. Back to what I was saying just before before we were even watching this video. That's one thing I noticed out here as a as a Ghanaian was that these kids do not take the plight of the so called black man seriously at all. This young brother is up here right now defending himself. Really trying to explain to this teacher, his frustration to this teacher, that look, you can't use this word. It's extremely offensive to me. And that teacher is just laying back, sitting back. He does not care. Now, could this have been a, uh, could the teacher have been a so-called black man using a racial slur to a young white woman? Hell no. He would have to take that issue way more seriously. And these girls are sitting in there and they laughing. This is funny to them. This is why as a, as a young so-called black man, when you're in these different situations, these different uh, dynamics, we can't, we, we can't afford to take it too seriously. We, we, can't, we can't afford to get up and decide that we're going to explain ourselves or prove ourselves to people that just don't have any value for us. It is what it is. But let's get back to the video, though. Black man, that's fucking racist. Ian, when you say nigga, we never say nigga, no. Corporal would never say nigga. Would you say nigga? Would you say nigga? Fuck no, they wouldn't say nigga. <laughs> How dare you? Well, you know, you know what a commoditized word means? You explain, explain it to me. Explain it to me. That's a word that's used so many, many times that it doesn't mean. So this white man, instead of just acknowledging that what he's saying is making this young brother who's under his jurisdiction, under his authority, uh, is, is, is making him feel, you know, disregarded, dis degraded. Instead of acknowledging that and apologizing, or may, or better yet, pulling him to the side, maybe out in the hallway and talking to him man to man, he'd rather sit back in his chair and just keep going. Why is that? Because he understands that if this young brother, this young so-called black man does anything, puts his hand on anything, deface any of the property, he's done. And that's what you guys got to understand. You're not in a system that is designed for you. And you're not in a system that, that really includes you. I, I guarantee you, that first day of school, that teacher got up there, this white, this Caucasian teacher got up in front of the class and was talking about how, you know, this class, 
They don't accept racism. They don't accept insults of any kind. It's equal. Everybody's going to be treated with respect. Blah, 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 blah. But look at this now. You got the young black man who's distraught because he's being called the N-word. And these other demographics don't take that seriously. They laughing. This is a comedy special. They don't care. This is why we got to peep the game. <laughs> See, when you peep the game, you would just let them say this kind, of, this kind of stuff. Then as soon as that bell rings, you're out of that classroom. You're done. You, you're gone. You practically run out of there. People will start to peep that. Like, hey, man, this guy don't like us. You're not talking. And then as soon as the bell rings, you are the first one out of that classroom. You know? And then when it's time to come back to class, you're literally the last one in. That's how you got to be. That's how you got to move. Let's get back to it. It's used by black people. It's used by everyone. No, no, you use it. Don't, don't, don't say everyone. The word has become commoditized so that anyone can use it, and it's no, not no, a negative connotation. No, it's a negative ass connotation. No, it's, it's a negative ass connotation. For you to say it to me is negative. It's okay, when you hear it in, in a bunch of songs, are those people by, being negative when they by, use by it? Black no. men. By it's just a black word. men. By black men. By black what does men. the word mean when they use it? My friend, matter. by black men, white men, don't don't say say Eminem, okay. who's a fucking rapper, said he would never send him to the fuck okay. so, of so, And he so said, if you he say a word, it means oh. friend. And if I say a word, that same word, it means something different. Yes, that's not, that's not true. Just the See, yeah, this, this white man, he's playing dumb. See, the problem is, I'm not even going to get into, you know, the N-word and should it be used, should it not be used. Well, look. That's besides the point. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to illustrate to you guys, especially you young brothers out there, how little, how, how little respected we are in these situations. Okay? This white man, this white teacher could have easily shut this entire thing down and just been like, oh, okay, my bad. I won't use the word. Completely diffused the entire situation. But look at him. He's comfortable. He understands. Look, there is nothing that you can do to me. There is nothing, there is nothing you can do. So I'm going to just keep going. As a matter of fact, I don't care how you feel. I'm going to explain to you why you should be comfortable with this. And that's another thing I, I, I remember from school. I, those kids, <laughs> those kids and those teachers tried so hard to program me to see, uh, to, to find things like racism funny or, you know, uh, so-called black, black people not having or so-called young black people not having fathers. They wanted me to find that funny. Uh, and even when I was finally, the few times I was actually acknowledged for being African, they wanted me to find, you know, uh, you know, 10 cents a day, people in a village being malnourished, uh, low infrastructure, no water, no food. They wanted me to find all this, all this stuff funny. So it's like they want to program the so-called black man and then the young uh, and, then, and then the African man to find all of these things. Uh, all these different detriments in their respective communities as funny. They want you to find it funny, but you can't crack no joke on no white girl. You can't. You can't sit in no classroom and start joking on Mexicans. Get the fuck out of here. You can't. You can't joke on nobody. You're supposed. They want you to be the joke. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm. A, I'm gonna say it again. As a. As a so-called black man, a young so-called black man, you do not ever want to divest this amount of mental. And physical energy to any situation, especially situations where <laughs> you're the only so called black person. Period. It's not if you want the world to move oh, on. If you want this world world. to be in what, the way it was 50 years ago, then you're true. The moment you're moving right. on, because white people aren't saying nigga. If a white man says nigga, it's just not moving on. You say nigga, it's slavery. Nigga, I'm a fucking nigga. I'm a fucking nigga because you put me in slavery. That makes no fucking sense. Nobody right? uses that word. Yes, they do. Nobody you, says nigga. You just do what you say! You acting like don't fuck we're having a conversation and you can say the word, but I can't. You say can't say nigga or no. fucking nigga. Calling somebody. The whole reason I'm not your fucking race is my fucking teacher. Don't say that shit. that shit. I'm not calling you anything. I don't give a fuck. No one's calling you. You said it. Ever you said it. You said it. I'm dude. If dude. we're if we're in a class and I'm teaching you, hey, the word nigger is an old the fuck you said it, my friend. Dude, that please, it's a word, bro. You cannot go through life. Look at that, man. The teacher does not care. Straight up told him it's a word, bro. So if you understand that this is the type of situation that you're in, and this is the perception of you, not a single student in that class has gotten up and said, you know, Mr. So-and-so, I, I kind of see where you're coming from, but at the same time, 
this is a word that so-called blacks don't really like or that black people don't like, you know? If it's making them this mad, maybe you should chill with that. See, no, see, I, <laughs> nobody's going to step in on behalf of the so-called black man. This, this is why it cracks me up when these kids of these different demographics run to you and try to tell you how many black friends that they have and how much they hate the, the, the racism problem, the racism issue in this country because it's all talk. It's all talk. Nobody's going to step in on, on the behalf of the so-called black man or the African man. And they're not supposed to. You really, they're really not supposed to, okay? I, I, I don't expect them to. And I, I'm, not, I'm not waiting on them to do that. But at the same time, I feel like I shouldn't have to be forced to listen to 5, 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes of somebody from whatever demographic, whatever race trying to, you know, finesse me into believing that they just care so much about me. It's like, dude, I don't care what you think about these issues. You're not of the you're not of the demographic. You're not from the same demographic as me. Oh, I'm fucking saying that shit. Kind of fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah